We're off, boys. We're off. This is it. I am so hungover, but at least it's a beautiful day. I'm going on holiday. Look. I'm in Chennai. We've got about a four hour layover before we catch our flight to the Andaman Islands. seamount where all the marlin are and uh, today we've woken up and yesterday it was pretty choppy but now it is absolutely looks like I don't know like someone's put a silk blanket all over the sea it is just absolutely dead calm 
Look at this. minutes away from the sea now and it really is in the middle of nowhere because there's the island and then there's nothing else but open sea around us. I've got a proper knot in my stomach now. I've really it's like the anticipation is all the stories I've read, lots of stories about Marlin and what they're like and uh, how much they how much you have to fight them, how fast they swim away. And uh, yeah, I can't really sit down. I'm constantly pacing around, waiting for these rods to go. There is literally hundreds of skipjack tuna breaking the surface at the moment. Well, there's tuna, there's marlin. So the tension mounts. I just caught a first marlin. It was about 150 pounds, 150 pounds. Um, and it was dragging me along the deck. It was insane, it was an insane experience. Um, luckily, I <laughs> That's John, by the way, our, our captain. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit speechless. Um, now Charles is in the hot seat, then Jim will be in the hot seat. Um, if that's up how much 150 pounds pulls, which was actually pulling me along the deck, if these guys catch anything bigger than that, I'll, I, I, oh, good luck to them. <laughs> that was a hell of an experience. Saturday and we've had a storm come in so we can we can't go out to the mount because the sea's running a good 15 feet so we're kind of stuck in by the bay monsoon or typhoon It's all calmed down a little bit now, but about, what, 10 minutes ago, it was pretty gnarly. Look at the hands. To start with, yeah. the anchor rope rubbed because of the size of the waves and nearly cut through. Yeah. So we had to try and put another rope on it. This is when I woke up and there was this fran frantic stuff going on at the front of the boat and these, you guys were fixing the rope. But by pulling the chain up, it was too tall and the anchor lifted and we nearly drifted onto the rock. Yeah, so me and Jim and Som, their cam, were up front trying to raise the anchor as quick as we could. We yeah. were sparks started flying and Spark the boat nearly <laughs> snapped off so it was time to cut it. So we were two metres deep, about 12 foot away from beaching the boat and uh, it was time to cut the anchor and uh, yeah, and now we're out drifting about in the ocean. We laughed but that was seriously fucking dodgy. Yeah. But Som was right on the end of the boat, wasn't he, when it, when it hit and the end bent 
like that, and the sparks came off the, off the chain. I thought he was gone into the sea. If that bow cleat that we tied the chain off to come off, that would have, that could have smacked it. He'd take you out clean off that. Yeah. That pressure. We all survived to tell the tale. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can go fishing tomorrow. We can't really go anywhere, um, so we're moored up here. Uh, done a bit of snorkeling. I mean, there's worse places to be trapped. But the issue is, is that we can't leave here because to get back to Port Blair is 135 miles. So if we don't, if we leave here, there's no, there's open sea all the way. So we have to be 100% sure this storm, which has hung around for two days now, is uh, done and dusted, and it still keeps chucking through these squally showers. The wind gets up to 55 knots and. Oh, it's rubbish. But the sun's out. When it's like this and the sun's out, it's gorgeous. It was a sleepless night last night. Everyone's a bit tired, a bit subdued. Um, yeah, lots of reading and chilling out going on while we wait and sit this one out. Okay, we are on the way home. And uh, right now we are burning some serious fuel. Let's check out the wake on this thing. Look at this. Minch and I, and we're here until three o'clock in the morning, and my email is just rammed. For now, downstairs, meet the boys at reception, food. Two beds. I might try and sleep across, What? like do one foot. <laughs> Back at Chennai Airport, ready to catch the BA flight home to London, which is Currently two degrees compared to 30. First queuing. Premium, Premium economy, economy mate. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the UK. Cattle crack. I think it even have more air out of them. Yeah, wait for Aaron. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. Bye bye. Dover and Dolverton. Is Dolver what we call, this is the Dolverton destroyer. What do you think it was so far? Check out my check out my shorts. Check out my shorts. Present from Nick. Yeah, check them out. They were too good for me, so I gave them to Luke. Worth more than his bike. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> 